A former employee just called Elise and I in a panic and told us that there was a small dog on the side of the road who seemed like she was dying. I'm actually just worried that she might not be alive by the time that we get there. There, right here, right here. Oh, God. Dead? To see a guy just standing over her and crying. Hang on, OK, hang on, hang on. I actually thought she was already gone. Did it die? No. Oh. No, oh my it's god. Getting eaten Did alive. you get hit? No. He called me when I turned the corner. He was sitting here, like trying to. Right here? Right here. Trying to pull his way to over there, but he couldn't. Okay, he baby. Back. So when I saw her on the side of the street, I was riding home. I had a break from work. And uh, I turned the corner, and I saw a dog dying in the streets. It really broke me into pieces. With the claws are being eaten away by maggots. Oh my god. But underneath his crotch is just all maggots. Okay, Papa. Skin and okay, skin. buddy. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. When I see a dog that's dying, I'm not really thinking about anything else other than how can I get this dog to the vet as quickly as possible. I just opened my car door. I just tried to move as quickly as possible, but without moving her too quickly because I don't know what her injuries are. Okay, baby, okay. I can't diagnose her right here, so the only thing that I can do is get her to the vet. She's trying, she's moving around. I felt relieved because she's still breathing and we're here at Cypress, but it's not even close to over yet. Tell me about her. Th this Hilda, we named her, it means fighter. She's just covered in parasites, period, you know, just fleas and everything. If you guys hadn't found her, she definitely would be not alive right now, you know, because her body is rotting, essentially. But yeah, she's rough, but she's tough. Yeah, she is. She doesn't look too anemic on that. I'm going to get some blood work and make sure her glucose and everything isn't too low, and then. <laughs> See, she like pops up. That's like she wants to. She wants she to try. Won. You're a tough little dog. She's fighting for it. And I know you told me once you were like, if they're gonna fight, then I'm gonna fight. Yeah. Too. When you look at a dog like Hilda, no matter how good of a job you do, or how hard you try, sometimes it just doesn't work out in your favor. But you gotta try. <laughs> you know, no one had tried for this poor little dog ever, obviously. So I think it was about time that someone did. That is serious right there. Mm. There's maggots in her eye, too. Were those girl? maggots that she threw up, or were those something else? Cochran? They, they, they were these. Did you see the ones in her eye? Well, yeah. you, you know, as bad as maggots are, I mean, like, as gross as they are, they serve a purpose. They eat dead, you know, dying tissue. They don't eat the healthy tissue, so. When you see a dog like that, the maggots tell you that it's been going on for a day or two for sure, because you have necrotic tissue, which is dead tissue that the maggots are cleaning up. They probably did a pretty good job of keeping a lot of the infection away while the dog was waiting to come to us. I mean, I know it's bad, but I've seen, definitely seen worse. We'll go, we'll go what do you think is wrong? Well, I think she's been down for a while, and she's probably had diarrhea, and she's got urine scalds, so the maggots are all in there cleaning up the tissue that's been damaged from those things. So what the primary problem was, I don't know. Um, you know, she could have been, I don't know, let me look at her nails. No. I mean, she could have just gotten heat ex exhaustion. That's, you know? that's what we were I mean, wondering, too. A lot of people, I mean, who knows? Who knows? But I'm going to take a quick x-ray. I felt something unusual in the belly, so I wanted to go ahead and get some x-rays so we could see what was going on in there. But your biggest question is, why are these maggots here? You know, what caused all these wounds or injuries to get infected and then, you know, get infested? Peek a girl. <gasps> She's got babies in her. That's what I was feeling. They're probably dead. That's probably what all this is. I bet you what happened with her, because this one looks like it's trying to come out, is that she um, probably went in to have the puppies and something happened, you know, and, and she couldn't. Once we realized that she had had a difficult pregnancy and had complications, all the pieces started fitting together. You know, that she had trouble, it was very strenuous, the puppy got stuck, then the puppy started dying. And so she started getting septic or sick from, from that. So she was literally, you know, dying because of the puppies that were inside of her. 
If you hadn't found her, she definitely would have died. Obviously, you can see it's a horrible death. So what we'll have to do is we're going to get her cleaned up, get her started on some really strong antibiotics, and the second we think she's stable enough, we're going to take her to surgery and get those puppies out. Okay. Hilda's been through so much, and if Sean hadn't have found Hilda, she wouldn't have made it. All I could hope for now is that Dr. Kristen is able to save her and that we can show her what it's like to have a home and what it's like to be loved. She's critical right now, obviously, because she's got so much infection. Last time I saw Hilda, she was infested with maggots and she was fighting for her life. And so now I'm just excited to see her alive and well. <laughs> Look who it is. Looks a bit different, huh? Uh, yeah, actually, that <laughs> looks a lot different. What you think, huh? <laughs> You walking around? They've been calling Hilda the miracle dog at the vet. And now that I'm seeing her after surgery, I completely understand why. She's a little shy, but when she, you know, when she gets to know you, she's quite sweet. Hi. The last time I was around you, you were barely alive. Hilda's one tough little girl. Very rarely do you see a little dog fight so hard to stay alive. But she wanted to keep living. Hopefully, it's because she's got somebody special waiting for her. God, she's so cute. I know, she's adorable. Lost the eye, but that was um, pretty much it. We were able to save everything else, so. Hilda's eye had a, a trauma to it, and it had a large ulcer. And what happened was is that that actual ulcer on the cornea or the eye itself became so deep that the actual eye ruptured, which is very painful. And um, her T-shirt, she gets cold at night. <laughs> she gets cold? Yeah. Hilda. She really, I know she's being shy now, but she's, she's very, shy. she's got a very sweet personality. I don't see the shyness being a long-term problem. Once she starts experiencing all of the great things that life has to offer, I think she's gonna come around just fine. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be cold in the van cause they see. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Look it. Oh my God, she's the cutest thing. I know. You're the cutest dog I've ever seen. A lot of people probably would have given up on Hilda, given the condition that she was in, but we don't give up on any dog. No matter what the condition is, we always try. She's going to be happy sitting in somebody's lap for the rest of her life. Oh, Hildy. Yeah.